Hi everyone. I hope you've been enjoying the videos we've been doing on the Australia Coin POS terminal. Uh, we're certainly excited to be able to bring this product to market. What we're going to show you today is uh, multi different cryptos accepted on the POS terminal in fast money mode. Uh, what that means is we'll just go for it and um, do a few transactions and uh, see how quickly the POS terminal uh, can handle it. So we'll try our first one with uh, Australia Coin. It's up on the screen already. Uh, we'll receive and we'll request an amount. Let's go for something small to begin with, $2.59. And then we'll scan that with our, our wallet. Put in our PIN code. And we'll get a send confirmation from the wallet. There's a click come up on the POS terminal, which means it's already arrived. So we'll uh, print the receipt on that. And we've got the receipt come out. What we'll do now, we'll uh, go to, uh, let's say we'll go to Bitcoin. I'll get my uh, Bitcoin wallet ready over here. Um, this time I'll use a Coinomi wallet. We'll request an amount of uh, $3.49. Perhaps we'll go to Bitcoin on our Coinomi wallet. Send, scan the scan. We scanned it for Bitcoin. We'll send. We've got to type in our password. We've put in the password on the Coinomi wallet. Uh, confirm. It's uh, sending the transaction. We heard a click and it's got the money come in 349. We'll print off that receipt at the moment. This uh, wallet's uh, not registered. The first uh, wallet uh, has a registered business on it. Uh, it's a requirement uh, to register uh, each of the wallets uh, individually to get the receipt printing working with, uh, with the name of the business on there. Uh, Litecoin transaction. This time I'll use the Loaf wallet, uh, which is a um, very similar to, to this wallet we'll receive. Uh, request an amount uh, $4.25 uh, uh, get ready to scan it from my uh, from my Litecoin wallet send scan and it's come up ready to ready to go already asking for my pin code uh, send it off got the send confirmation and it hasn't come in yet so what happens is, when the transaction go, there it goes, when a transaction goes in, it goes into the memory pool, and then it will be confirmed in the block uh, when the block is um, solved. So now we've got the $4.25 come in, we we'll print the receipt for that, and now we've got a uh, Litecoin transaction happening. We'll go back, and let's uh, perhaps do another Australia coin uh, one to finish. Uh, we'll go to Australia coin, receive, uh, Request something maybe $9.95 uh, this time. Uh, bring up my Stray Coin wallet here and uh, send, scan. So now I've got uh, coming up requesting for the amount, a pin code, that uh, comes up uh, $9.95 in here. Put in my PIN code, uh, send confirmation. Got a loud click. Uh, we've got the 995 come in. So you can see that pretty much the transactions come in uh, very quickly into the memory pool and then they show up on the device. Uh, they show up uh, very quickly here. We can select uh, the different types of wallets from the menu on the side here Australia Coin, Bitcoin, or Litecoin. And, uh, Away we go. The POS terminal is out in shops now and uh, in beta trials and um, we uh, have an exciting uh, model uh, set up for the uh, distribution and placement of these terminals. They'll be uh, very low cost to market and uh, they um, will certainly uh, make a big impact in the crypto market having a professional style POS terminal to accept multiple cryptos and print uh, receipts. So we have the, the receipts here. Uh, there they there they all are. One, two, three. Uh, I didn't print the last one. 
So we'll print off that last one. And there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying these videos. Bye.